We tried to watch one yesterday. A oh, new yeah. Netflix special came out yesterday. Red State, Blue State with Colin Quain. Oh, my God. Pull this up, Jules. I totally forgot about this. Your buddy, Colin Quinn, who you thought you liked because in 2004, he was on Opie and Anthony's XM radio. And people go, oh, Colin's on the show. Oh, I better, I better freshen up. Colin's here. Oh, I better, I better brush my teeth. Colin's here. And I was always like, why do people love Colin Quinn so much? He comes out with a new Netflix special the other day called Red State, Blue State. It's a lecture. You got to see. I'll just show you this. Here we are. Netflix. <laughs> look at this. And then I'll show you our first. Wow. Look at this. Colin. Oh, yeah, it's great. They go. Why are you being so negative? Okay. I'll show you the intro here. This is really, really bizarre. I mean, we gave this thing maybe four minutes before we had to turn it off here. CNN. Hey, where are you going to do your special? Amazon, Netflix, Hulu? I'm going to go with CNN. They know funny. Colin Quinn has a special on CNN. We remember the last guy who wasn't supposed to be on CNN. His name was Anthony Bourdain. I'm just saying, CNN, let's stick to a little news with a little news host. Put Anthony Bourdain on there. He's doing a cooking show. What happens? Xed. Now Colin Quinn's the next guy with a non-news show. Now, Colin Quinn somehow tricked the world into thinking we care about history as if we're Joe Rogan and we want to listen to Dan Carlin's Hardcore History, a podcast series that is so cool. We don't. Okay? History? You ever been to that? Or social studies, as I still call it? Colin Quinn, Red State, Blue State. CNN paid for this. Now it's on Netflix. Look at this. This is his special. Oh! Listen to the opening. Get me uh, the, the one. Listen. Oh, what a convenient opening for your political comedy. Where have I heard that before? You're gonna hear. Does anyone know? Anyone know where that opening song's from or very similar to? Because I do. I know the bad Boris K has no idea because he only listens to a couple of things, but I listen to it all. Look at that. Henry W's got it. Bill Mars intro music. And we're going to put them back to back here because Colin Quinn, he stole. That's his first stealery. All these guys in New York get caught up with stealing uh, jokes. Amy Schumer, Patrice O'Neill, Colin Quinn. Turns out Patrice O'Neill was stealing a bunch of material from Amy Schumer. Did you hear about this? Street jokes. Why did the magician throw his pubes at a guy? I don't know. Amy Schumer's got the end of that joke. I'll have to go get it from him. And then they killed him to cover it up. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, here it is, real time with Bill Mark. That's Martin. the old one. I can't find yeah. the one that he just updated, but this is the one you meant, right? Yeah. This is the old one. The new one's even more like Tom Quinn. Here, is this it? Dun, 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 dun. I love this. Dun. Where? Why would you even? I always wonder because this song was so odd. Now I love it. They've changed it a little bit in the new ones. I think they got the new one. Get the new one, but I want to play the old one. I remember this song being so odd. I go, who made this and why is this a good? And when he walks, I go, wow, when a wow. <laughs> it like slows down here. Let's see. This is the old Stark the Clock. I love it. Dun, 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 dun. I love this song. Dun, 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 Dr. Dre produced this. You can hear his influence. Wow, wow. Here's that one. Here's the new one. I don't like that. They took out the dun, 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 dun. They like were embarrassed about that. So in this one, this is the old one. It goes dun, 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 dun. The new one, they took out that dun, 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 dun. It's like they were embarrassed. They were like, I don't like the way that turns. Let's make this more even. Here, 
It's very weird. Here's the new one. Oh, wait. Well, this says 2017. I don't think it's the new one, Jules. Fuck. This is the same. We're still here. here. No, no, no. The new one's definitely more muted, but let's hear Qual and Quinn's song now. I think that's enough. Consciously wait, wait, wait. uncouple. Come on, shut the fuck the up. CNN Originals. N N N. Wow. Wow, really is insane. Dun, dun, dun. Quinn exposed. Wow. I mean, come on, Quinn exposed, case closed, throw him away. <laughs> Give him to me so I can electrocute him. Uh, he starts off the show. Remember, he's an innovator. So look at this. They've got a shot of the audience. And here's the back exit. And watch what he does. This is so sickening. You're going to puke. Your love for Colin Quinn ends today. Okay. The kid. Pat. What is his name? Pat. His name's Pat. The kid. like The, the kid. kid? The kid. The kid probably still, he forgot that he's supposed to let go of Colin Quinn. I'm here to remind you, Colin Quinn's over. Here we go. There he is. So he's going to hang out back by the exit. You can't even see him. There's not even light on him. But he's so unusually so much different than those other comedians who stand in the light so that they can be seen. He's going to stand in the back to do his intro here. I couldn't have been more bored. Red state, blue state. The kid says, go. LOL, I never liked him. Good. Okay. Thank you. You know, <laughs> you never know with the kid. These the accusations kids are just a test for you guys to see how you react. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. <laughs> And everything I say is true, but it is an accusation. All right, look at this. Look how he starts. All right, in today's politics world, we got to figure out if Amy... Is that what he's going to say? Let's hear <laughs> oh. In today's politics world, that's my... I'm like, okay, say something like he would say about politics. In today's politics world. That's all I could think of because I'm so bad, I can't even... <laughs> this is so not what I like. I can't even imitate it. Here. Thanks, folks. <laughs> Thanks. You politics. seem like uh, very nice, reasonable people. Short time I've known you. you oh, know. wow. I could even go harder on You seem like a very nice, reasonable people. Short time I've known So his voice is getting a little crazier. But I gave him a light version of his own voice. And it has more of this going on. What a nut. This is not cool. You know, Opie and Anthony are the reason we, we got tricked a little bit. He used to go on their show. And they're like, Colin does a whole special about history. It's amazing. And we're sitting there going, that sounds awful. But if Opie and Anthony are saying it's cool, they usually wouldn't like anything that sucks. Little did we know. Uh, I went, uh, I mean, eh! uh, and that's how we got fooled into Colin Quinn. We should have known better. Opie and Anthony led us so astray on so many things because we didn't know that they were just lying, stinking trash so remember that years ago? Oh, Colin Quinney does a whole hour on history. And I'm sitting in, in my car going, that sounds like it sucks. But they're like, oh, no, it's so good. I'm like, oh, Colin Quinn must be good then. What do I know? I'm just a guy. And now you know, huh? He stinks. All right, listen to this. I mean, most people. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe things. he's great. I don't know. Dallas, Omaha, Sacramento, New York. People everywhere want Family, community. Look at this. Uh, security, universal Family, values. Community, security. What? <laughs> How is that a joke? How is that even? Cool? I couldn't even follow. I can't even follow can't now. Even My brain goes. Said. I go straight to somewhere else when he starts talking. <laughs> but if we can't agree how to get these things after all these years, and he's walking through the back of the audience here. As if this is a cool way to start a show. Maybe we need to take some time apart, separate, divorce, consciously, uncouple. The founding fathers warned us it would come to this. 
John Adams said the two-party system is the greatest political evil. John Adams said! Sorry. Who's John Adams? A beer company? I mean, come on the fuck up. What the hell are you talking about here? John Adams. And now it's revealed, oh, his whole set is an attic space with this beautiful overhead lighting, and he's going to stand in the round and just rap with the socialists. Look at this audience coming out to see him. It's all Cornell West types. Okay? NPR's tiny desk audience. Look at this. Under our Constitution, George Washington cautioned in his farewell address against excessive political party spirits and geographical distinction. Wise words. They tell us what to do about it. They did not. They just said it. And they died. Oh, that's all. It's Finally, they're going, ha, 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 ha. Thank God we hit laugh. It's, it is comedy. It's not just a teacher. <laughs> These jokes stink. It's a teacher. Now it's a teacher. They left us to figure it out. Watch Real this. geniuses. Yeah, it's filmed in the hereditary America. attic. America. Two parties. Still, all these years later, two parties. It it's doesn't count if you pronounce later, later. <laughs> I don't want to listen to a guy school me out. That would be like if Jordan Peterson was like, Yeah, what you just got to do is a clean is a room. Sorry. You're either a pizza man or a construction man or an intellectual. You cannot be both. America, you know what's happened later. Sorry. No thanks. I'll take my lectures from somebody who isn't uh, some New York street trash from Queens. There's okay? 350 million people and there's two parties. There's 15 genders and there's two parties. <laughs> Oh, is, four is that funny? Because the whole audience here is part of that gender thing. Every one of you is. There's two parties. I, uh, I don't know if you know this about me. I despise the New York accent. You're not quite and you're not my father. You know who's getting really New York-y? Linda Richmondy, Dave Portney. All right, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Oh, look at this. The piece is so hot, Frankie. It's burning my tongue. Everyone who has that accent just gets worse and worse over the years. It really it doesn't does. It fade it's away at all. It's so <laughs> fucking cheap. I mean, it's time. It's time to go to speech class, speech therapy, and uh, change your weird ways. All right, so here's what happened in the Constitution. We're in America. Late, everything's happening late. I can't even follow somebody talking like that. All I think they're doing is hollering out of a New York window. They've got no AC. It's 102 degrees on a New York summer's July day. They're wearing just a wife beater. Hey, Ma! Ma! Up here! Ah, yeah, yeah! I don't want to see any of it anymore. We couldn't even watch Reservoir Dogs. It was too heisty. <laughs> I don't care Heists about... are getting old. I don't care about mafia guys, good fellers. I don't know how this new Martin Scorsese movie is going to work because I have so little respect for the mob. I see a mob guy, I go, that's the most out of it guy I could school him in a joke off. Like Brandon <laughs> Wardell. The mob doesn't even stand a chance to people like Brandon Wardell. The mob comes up to Brandon Wardell, you're like, Hey, uh, we, you owe us some money. Brandon Wardell's like, wow. And rolls his eyes in such a way that the mob just explodes. <laughs> Here's Colin Quinn, just a little bit more. He's saying to steak eaters and vegans, okay, election's over, you gotta eat steak. I don't oh, like yeah, the election's over, you gotta eat steak. Oh, yeah. Stop talking in this way. Now, I wonder if people from, uh, like, the UK think that I sound like an asshole like this. Probably. They're like, listen to this guy that with his hot dog accent from <laughs> Chicago. This big uh, beef. You know, I don't know. Lee Venus, do I sound like a fucking asshole like this? Because I, in my head, I sound perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, should I stop talking like this? Hey, you're not my God. You're not my father. You're not my mother. Ooh, is that a slimy, dirty way to talk? Kick these guys to the curb. They got no brain cells in their heads. Steak. I'm a vegan. Steak makes me physically ill. I'm allergic. It's only every day for the next Wait, week. Wait, he's a vegan now? Steak makes him physically ill. He's best friends with Amy Schumer. He's always talking about history. Works with CNN. He can't eat steak. Why are we putting up with the Quinn? Oh, yes. No more. <laughs> 
Look at this. Two parties that see the country Two parties. totally differently. The right sees only the positive, the left sees only the negative. Right sees this country like they're at a high school football game in the stands, cheering USA, USA, we're number one. And the left That's sees it like they're at an ICU unit. Have you guys ever listened to Red Bar? You'd be dying if you think this is funny. All right, there he is, Colin Quinn. Very stupid, don't watch this special, this stinks. He says the worst stuff. He goes, we like to use Johnny Appleseed once he's running around and then Ben Franklin. Shut the fuck up. Those people aren't real.